Good morning. <clears throat> Today is Wednesday, and we're continuing on with our ELA grade level story called I Fall Down. Okay? The story is about gravity. It's about a force called gravity. And gravity is a force that's always pulling, pulling things down. Okay? So, I want to show you a quick visual. Just as a review, a force called gravity is the main topic or the main idea of our story. Gravity is always pulling things down. Me, you, objects, this kitchen table. Okay, it's pulling it down. It's not going to float away. That's because of gravity. If you've ever wondered why, that's exactly why. Well, today we're going to have a race. We're going to do a couple different things. But let's take another look at the story. Uh, oh, we're going to dropping races. All right, so we, st we left off with adding that clue that gravity is a force that pulls things down. Today, we're going to be able to add a second clue to that, okay? So we have, do some things fall faster than others? Well, let's take a look. I have my markers over here. I'm going to let go at the same time. Wait. Same time. Even though this marker is bigger, they fell at the same time. That's called a tie in a race. Well, let's keep reading. Try it and see. Hold a penny in one hand and hold a key in the other. Open your hands so they both start falling at the same time. Listen and watch as they hit the floor. Did either the penny or the key win the race or was it a tie? Things fall so fast, it's hard to tell if there's a winner or a loser. Well, let's take another look, because I have a bag full of items, and we can take a look. So things are heavier than others. Oh, man, this is really light. This is a ping pong ball. Okay. And then I have this. This is one of our math counters. An orange worm. Okay, it's just a counter of one. All right, but it is heavier than this ping pong ball, which is very light. So I'm going to drop these at the same time and do a drop test. Wow. Even though this was heavier, it was a tie again. That's interesting. So let's continue. Uh, have lots of dropping races, the story says. But no matter whether the objects are big or small, it seems it's always a tie. I'm going to stop for one second because I want to think about what the author is trying to teach us. Is he trying to make us laugh? Is he trying to make us smile? Because this drop test, it, it's a little exciting, uh, but entertaining. Am I laughing at it? Am I smiling? I'm really looking closely at it. I'm observing because I'm learning, okay? The objective of today's lesson is that we want to identify why the author wrote the story. Is he trying to entertain us or is he trying to give us information? Well, this tells us lots of things about a real thing called gravity, a force that's pulling things down. And it's saying it pulls it all at the same speed. So they're not going to go at different, no one's going to win. There's probably going to be a lot of ties if that's what I'm reading. The only time you have a clear loser Okay, so they can be a loser. Let's read how. They're going to give us more information about why they're a loser, why they could lose. The only time you have a clear loser is when you drop something that the wind could easily blow away, such as a feather or a tissue. You see air fighting gravity only with light objects. Okay, well, I have this um, tissue. Now, the wind is going to slow this thing down. Then I have a wood dice. Let's see who the winner might be. Let's see if the dice will win. <laughs> it won by like two seconds. So, okay, so that would be the only reason when the wind is slowing it down. So maybe if this dice had a parachute on it, it would slow it down too. And then be closer to a tie. But um, any other objects, markers. Um, rub a ducky and a fish. They're all going to land at the same time and be a tie because of gravity. It's pretty amazing. 
Um, so there's lots of information about gravity. Let's keep reading. Oh, now they're talking about going into outer space on the moon. And yesterday I talked a little bit about how gravity on the moon. If there were no air, you would find that gravity pulls everything at the same speed. Astronauts proved this on the moon where there is no air. Every dropping race was a tie. Amazing, but true. Does everything land with the same force or do some things hit harder than others? Okay, this has to do with maybe how soft or how hard the objects are. Let's see, maybe I can find something like that. Um, here's a way to find out. Have someone drop a dry sponge in your hand from about a foot above. I'm going to be using a cork. Now a foot above is about, about this far, okay? So I'm gonna drop it. Okay, this is very light. Very, just like a sponge. Um, and then drop the bar of soap. But I don't have a bar of soap per se, but I do have something that's heavier. This is a ruler, it's a tool for measuring length and how long things are. So let's do that. See how hard it hits the ground. No, that was a much stronger force. I could feel that in my hand hit very hard. When I did this light cork, it was almost like nothing hitting my hand. So different things hit harder. So I guess the bigger they are, the harder they hit. Interesting, let's see. Um, try dropping lots of things into your hand. Soon you'll discover that some things hit harder than others. Okay, so now we're talking about our next clue. Uh, gravity pulls everything on the moon at the same speed because there's no air on the moon. Now I want to be able to compare that with the Earth, and we're going to talk about that. The last thing I'm going to mention is now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to see which one is heavier, which one is lighter, there's a way to do that. It's not an exact perfect science, but you want to see, so we had the heavier um, measuring ruler, and then we had the light cork, okay, from my grape juice. So it says, move your hands up and down to feel the difference. So this is how you do that. You lift it up and down. And I can tell that this is weighing down more. All right, so the next clue we're gonna be adding is that gravity pulls everything on the moon at the same speed because there's no air on the moon. And that's it for today. Enjoy, we're gonna stop on that uh, testing weights page, but that's a great thing. And sometimes, I gotta be honest, when Mrs. Harold just says, hey, can you go get me a bowl of ice cream? I'll pull one for me and one for her. And I'll, I like, I like, I like ice cream. Hey guys, have a great day. I'll see you next time.